we're back for some more FIFA, and this time we are doing the Serie A. Um, right, I'm going to start off by saying initial impressions about the players. This team took a lot longer to put together than the BPL one, purely on the basis that on PC, some of these players are fucking rare. It's mental. Um, just going to start off, uh, Biondini, the left centre defensive mid that is currently a centre mid. I don't believe I ever bothered to convert him down. Um, he's one of my favourite players from the last games. Like, the main reason I want to do the Serie A is because I love like silver Italian players. They are fucking ballistic and they have been for the last two, three FIFAs. So I, I, this is kind of why I want to do this one. But a lot of these players are dumb and so rare. Um, on PC. I don't know what it's like on console, but if you're not careful, you will get hyped hard. Um, the, for a couple of days, <coughs> the only Biondini on the market was one that had a starting price of 150 and a buy now of 600,000. That's how rare he is. There was just one guy who was just like, fuck it, I'll just put it up for whatever. Um, one did eventually show up later. I did manage to bag him for 200 coins, but like I say, you have to be patient. Very, very, very patient. But other than that, I'm going to go into a few players that are probably going to pinch your um, coins a bit. The first one is Ukon or Yukon, or the pronunciation changes that word entirely, and I don't know, I don't know what the fuck he, he, I call him Ukon for the whole fucking thing, or Yukon. Um, he does look very interesting. Um, he's six foot tall. He has good pace, good dribbling, uh, good shooting, passing, defending, physical, the whole nine yards. He looks like a pretty competent centre mid. I bumped him up to Cam. But he also has five star weak foot and four star skills. Now, one of the things that I want to do in this series was I wanted to make sure that I picked the cheaper players. However, a lot of the cheaper players are genuinely just miserable, hopeless piles of shite. So, I did kind of um, make a compromise because there are some really interesting non-rares that deserve a mention, but shouldn't be your first choice. So, I made a compromise, which is that um, the team that you saw at the start is all the cheaper players, like all the really low-rated, janky ones you wouldn't expect anything from. And all the players on the bench are the ones that I would expect the world from because they either look really fucking good or they cost me a min. Like I say, Ukon is the first of that. He cost me three and a half grand. For a non-rare centre mid, I guess the five star weak foot and four star skill was, um, kind of shows why he costs so much. But for a non-rare, nah, that's fuck far too expensive. It's mental. So um, he is on the bench as a really expensive dude. Um, the next player, Renzetti, is an example of if you don't wait, then you uh, get screwed and fiddled. Um, I didn't wait. I did not wait for a good while. You know, I was very drunk when I was making the team, and I was like, fuck it, I want to make the team now. So, kind of splashed the cash on him a bit. I think you can pick him up for about a thousand coins. I ended up spending free, just because I couldn't see any of him at the time, and I, that was the, the only one I could see was 2,900 coins, so I bought him. So, you can get him, they're a lot cheaper, you've just got to remain a bit more cautious, but, like I say, you know, on PC especially, these players can bone you, because no one opens silver packs on PC, so the silver players are hard to come by, which is why the Serie A is not... The Serie A team that I'm using, I would declare as an upgrade on the BPL team, but as a foundation to upgrade to better Serie A players, I would say give it a miss, because it's just too expensive. A lot of these players cost fucking shit ton. Um, the next one is Badu, who is a centre defensive mid. He looks, again, really good. Great pace, dribbling, good shooting. Def he can do everything, but he cost me four grand. You can get cheaper, rare players for that. You know, it's, again, just not worth the price hike of that kind of money. But, um, you know, he looks great, and I can understand why he costs that much, but just for a non-rare, nah. So, he's on the bench. Um, Giel Herme, another one where I wasn't patient enough. I believe I saw one go for about 1.2 grand. Um, he does look a little bit meh. However, he does have a cheeky hidden stat in that he has 82 long shots, I believe. So, his shooting is actually a lot better than his card says, you know, it, 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 or it should be. But, again, pay three grand, probably get him for a lot less than that. 
but you get just another example of the Serie A players are so fucking rare, unlike the BPL ones, that you need to be a bit more cautious. Um, and the last, well, this isn't a player that cost me a lot. This is more of a story. Um, the first four were just players that I paid too much for or are overpriced as shit to show that the Serie A is not a, or the non-rare Serie A is not, like, a foundation to build your team on. You can get cheaper gold rare players than that. The non, you know, this is more non-rare sake for non-rare sake. You could go out and pick up loads of gold players for the price that I paid for, uh, Ukon and Badu especially. But, um... Marilungo! Guido Marilungo! The mighty Guido! Um, he is... I, I have said, like, Beyond Didi was the example that I used right at the start. He is a player that I really, 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 really liked the past couple of FIFAs. However, Guido Marilungo um, is the best player, has been the best player on the game for the last two games. I'm absolutely convinced of that. I never did get to try Messi or Ronaldo or Aguero. Well, I, I might have tried Aguero at some point. But I always went for the not for the um, Italian silvers, and I always had Guido Marilungo as a cam. I don't plan on using him. He's just there as a mascot, and he will end up um, in my sort of upgraded team when I find out what players are you know, keepers and what ones could fuck off. But for the time being, for the for this series, Guido Marilungo is going to be a little mascot. He has been steadily downgraded as the FIFAs have gone by, but I'm telling like, FIFA 13, he was a god. He was, hands down, the best player I ever used. He could score from 40 yards, 50 yards, he could dribble around everyone, you know, he could assist, he could, he could do everything. He was the literal tits. So he is going to be our uh, team mascot. And, yeah, I know, maybe you'll get a look in at the end. We'll see how we go. Probably not, though. But, just, like, again, he costs 400 coins. That's how cheap he is now. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. How much was Ukon? He was three and a half grand. Yeah, I, I'd pick Marilungo over Ukon any day of the week. So, that's kind of what I'm talking about. The non-rares in this series aren't really a foundation, which is kind of what I was hoping they would be. But... If you want to upgrade your BPL team to a Serie A non-rare team, that would work if you've got the coins for it. But there are some pretty expensive bastards in there. Just saying. And even then, like, some of the rare silvers, like, um... Oh, God. Muriel. Uh, he is a Colombian striker. He goes for about 70 grand? Um, Renzetti, my left back, is c fantastically cheap compared to some of the rare silver left backs and... Yeah, just rare silver. Um, I think my favourite one I saw was Armero, who goes for 80 grand. That's a left back. That's not a striker who's going to score you goals. That's not a cam to set up, you know, your players. It's not a centre defensive mid who can kind of, you know, defend and attack. It is a left back. A player who generally defends, crosses, and maybe gets a shot. 80 grand. So, this is more just for using the non-rares in the league's sake. It's not a starting foundation point, but I just wanted to use it because I want a team to put the mighty Guido in because he is truly god. So, yeah, um, let's go see how uh, this team does. Hopefully, we have a striker who can score. All right, let's go. We are ready. That is quite the sweat team, but I'm not phased. This new Italian team is looking a hell of a lot better than the Premier League team. I don't say that with too much confidence, but I'm, I'm feeling okay. So, let's see if I can win. <laughs> oh, well, that's a great fucking start. Get it, Cascari! Let's just not let Clichy run straight through. Oh, good tackle, I believe. That was Santa's crotch. Santa crotch, eh? All right, we got Longo. We got Longo. Longo is like my uh, equivalent of Sagbo. <laughs> That's who made that ball. That's Paul. <laughs> oh, Cascioni. Let him like a salmon. We got Belomo. Oh, he's doing them tricks, though. Oh, he's doing them tricks. Smash it! Yes! Immediately, we have a goal. Five minutes. How long did it take me to score with the BBL non-rare silvers? Belomo, nicely done. 
Pokey Rally, Pokey Rally, Pokey Rally, right. Um, I'm gonna say, if I butcher anyone's names, deal with it. I'm not, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, just tell me in the comments, I'll try and change it. Like, you can if you want, and I might pick up on it, but I don't give a flying monkey's left bollock. I'll call them what I like. Oh, you are, they're all a little bit clunky. They're fast, but clunky. Oh shit, Cascione, the CDM running in. Cascione is another one I wanted to use. Basically, Susana is my favourite Serie A team, just because it has Guido, Marilungo on it, and um, Cascione. I love Cascione. He's so fucking cool. No, was that Longo? Was that? I don't know. Oh, oh shit, it's the right back. Oh, the dribbling on you is poor. Oh, it's fucking Lukaku! Okay, Bells. That's not great. Oh, it's fucking Longo, though. Oh, come on, Longo. Yeah, yeah, screw that. That is a free kick. Thank you. And, yeah, whatever. Whatever, Blomo, you done well. I'm, I'm pleased with you. You've done fantastically. You've actually fucking scored. Um, there was one player that I didn't get, which I probably wanted to get, but there was, just wasn't room for him with all the other players. I wanted to try! That's a terrible tackle. There is a, like, bloke, I can't, I can't remember who he plays for, but I think he's Ghanaian, and he's quite simply called Duncan. <laughs> I don't know why, but there's always something that really amuses me about that. Like, I'm fairly certain there was a Brazilian guy last game just called Brian, and I'm like, I, I, for some reason, that just makes me laugh. I don't know why. <laughs> But I always admire that. Just sort of people from random nationalities just called like Steve, Graham. Oh well. Anyway, fairly uneventful half, but not too bad. We've at least fucking scored. So, uh, hey, I didn't tell you that. Uh, Renzetti is making me nervous though. Once again, the defense is uh, it's a little bit poor. But we got it through to Longo. To Pookie Ready. To Longo! Oh shit. We nearly fucking scored there. Uh, this is good. Longo is okay. Why is Longo on the fucking corner? Get off of it, Longo. It's goes to Biondini, my brother. Biondini. The Ginger and Draw! Cascione! My two favourite players of the squad linking up! Cascione, you are a god! I have two centre defensive mids I fucking like! Like, Lofty was the only one I really thought was a good centre defensive mid from the whole of the BPL pool of players I picked. But Biondini and Cascione are the tits! I'm well pleased! Even at his most annoying, he seems to just sort of be better. Oh, Longo, what the fuck? No! Thank you! Red card that bitch! Red card him! He took out Long Longo just did this guy! What the fuck is going on? Really? I didn't get anything? Longo, get get off the free kick. I'm gonna have to change something with that. Belomo can't take free kicks, but Biondini sort of can. Cascioni kinda can as well. Nice. Biondini the ginger ninja! Pow! Oh, it was on target. You can say what you want, it was on target. He will have a long shot slash free kick at some point. But it's Belomo! <sighs> this team is amazing. They're fucking everywhere. No, oh, that wasn't the ball I needed. Biondini! Oh, fuck off! Biondini is everywhere. He's the Milo who could do things. I've said that quite a lot about a few players, but it's true. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm not entirely sure if he is right footed now. That was a left footed shot and he just damn, damn, damn near just got that to creep in. The amount of power that shot was unbelievable! I can't imagine there's going to be too much moaning. We'll see though. There's usually some. Oh, Cascione! Can't- Oh! For shame! You do not hack Cascione like that! Disgraceful! Sacco, you are shite! You're being fucking owned! Um, yeah, alright, we'll, we'll put Cascione on this. He hammered it, he levered it, 
Eh, on target again. He doesn't have that much power, though. beyondini has got a bit more. All right, Longo. Oh, fuck's sake. Longo just keeps getting hacked. He actually has quite good dribbling for a tall bloke. I'm not going to put you on it, Longo. Stop trying. Um, I'll try Cascione. We'll see how we do. Let's see if Cascione can put it away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do these players not have anything that they're bad at? This is incredible. Get it, Santa Croce. It's only Lukaku. You've got this. No, you don't. Oh, great tackle, Perenia. These are the cheap guys, and they're fucking awesome. Oh, who was on oh, Longo? I like Longo, just because I like his name. Just, you know, oh, Longo. Longo. Then there's Belomo. We English really can butcher foreign languages, huh? Like, I'm sure it sounds really smart and sophisticated in Italian, but I'm like, Longo. Belomo. <laughs> Pereira, Fuck him up. It's only actually on. Oh, what a. Ah! He got injured! I like you. I like you a lot. You injured Ashley Young. Oh, shit. Biondini. Oh! Biondini! Oh! He hammered that. Biondini will have his goal. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, Lofty scored earlier in the team that I'm using him in. I was well Oh, Jesus Christ, Biondini! Yeah, you fucking kick that shit away! This man has been well and truly beaten. I've had so many chances. Tim Howard is his Jesus right now. Oh, Biondini's done him. No, don't stop it! There, Biondini was gonna fucking score! Like a 50 yard long shot. It was gonna be great. No. Oh. Still though, what a first game! Holy crap! Yeah, take that, Tim Howard. How do you feel? Well, I have to say, I was I'm fairly sure I complained about how expensive these players are, but even the cheap team has proven it's worth. Like these are the guys that I was sort of worried about, and look, they're fucking the world. Awesome. Awesome. Cascioni, man of the match. Look at that, Cascioni, Biondini, Belomo. What a core of brilliance. I am chuffed. I am so chuffed. Alright, let's go. So far, no complaints. The only slight thing I'll say, also, fuck that team, that looks painful. Um, the only thing I will say is the left and right cam do seem a little bit invisible, but they're doing a lot better than... Um, Buckley and Triore were, although Buckley and Triore did come into the game towards the end of the BPL bit, but I don't know. Just a little bit more activity from them. Soriano seems a bit meh, but he's doing alright now. Longo. Longo, we need to sort out your whole let's sit in midfield thing. I know your work rates are a little bit janky. Woo! Whoa! 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 What has happened here? Yes! What a fuck! You floored yourself, but you got the ball! And now it's Belomo. Oh, Biondini, you're everywhere! Head it down for Cascioni! Cool! What a fucking hammer of a shot! These CDMs could do everything! Also, I changed it. Biondini is now on the corners um, and long free kicks. Cascioni's taken short. Let's see if that makes a difference. Perinda! Oh, fucking hell, man! Longo! Yes! Oh, it's an own goal, but Longo. I think that may well have been going out for a fucking goal kick. It's alright, Longo. It's alright. I shouldn't have chipped it. It was a bit too cheeky for its own good, but fuck it, it worked, man. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, Longo. Longo is a bit of a tank, is I like him. Belomo. Pass it off to Biondini. BIONDINI! Oh! You will have your goal. Oh, I love you, Biondini! You're so fucking good! Oh, wow. I don't know who the fuck that was, but... Oh, Bendetti. That was a uh, poor attempt at trying to get the ball there, Slick. Oh, Longo. He's got the fucking strength, I'll tell you that. Oh, sorry, Arno. Sorry! Oh! No. 
fuck off it, Barbo. Who the fuck are you to march in here and be like, yeah, I'm a Barbo, and they were like, no! Oh, shit! Yes, Longo! Yes! A fucking striker can do something in my team! Oh, my God! Yeah, nice bald spot, Diego Lopez. You just got done, mate! Pow! Oh, that was that should have been a goal, but Longo with the follow-up. Longo with the follow-up. Oh, man! This team is the tits! Longo. Cheeky bit of dribbling to fall to Rossi. Passes it off to Biondini! Oh! You're gonna be, you're gonna be saying a lot of that. The Ginger Ninja will have his long shot this day. Oh my god, they're so fucking cool. I'm just like having a massive stiffy over this right now. Oh, bit, fucking Santa Croce. Santa Croce! Oh! Yeah, nice bit defending. Cascioni with an amazing fucking ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This defense isn't great, but it certainly feels a lot smoother and nicer than the BPL one. I'm going to be endlessly comparing this to the BPL one because they were shite. Apart from Delaney. I still use Delaney, actually. Cascioni. Casc... Oh. All right. <laughs> Finishing ain't your forte, but you still fucking made a run. I don't know how much pace Cascioni's got, but it's not a lot. And he just ran through this guy's entire team. This is Division 1, by the way. This is meant to be the cream of the crop as far as players are concerned. And my little non-rare team is giving them the D. And if I was a little bit more patient and not drunk when I bought these players, I would have paid so much less for them. But I'm not. And I was drunk, so we paid a lot. But, I'm sorry, Biondini and Cascione are just the tits. I can't believe I paid 500 coins for the two of them, and they are kicking ass. Biondini is a rock. And Cascione ain't all bad either. I, I'm thoroughly pleased. And I still haven't even gotten to the players that look good. Like, these are the shaky ones. It's eight. Oh, shit. No! Oh, Rubinho! He's the shaky keeper as well, and that was an half bad save. Although I think that's the first thing he's had to do in two games. Really? This man is just flustered. He is completely trounced. Oh no. Oh no, it's a barbo. Oh, but Santa Croce is there! Oh man. Oh man. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's get another goal. Go on, Belomo. With the cheeky ball rolls. Oh, uh, up to Pookie Arena! Oh! Come on, Cascioni! Ah! Ah, blind! Ah! Random noises again. I'm so flustered, I can't even commentate properly. Yeah! Yeah! Cascioni! Longo's making a run! Longo can't make runs! I need to stop thinking he can. I need to treat him more like Zagbo. Just as a dude to hold up the ball. So that the rest of my onslaught of attack can get forward. Oh, he's he's dribbling with Cashley. He is dribbling with Cashley. Oh shit! No, come on, stop, Mertens. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, what a save! Where Santa Croce's height let him down. My fucking keeper was there. He was on it. Oh, holy crap! What a header! Jesus Christ! I think that was my. Le I think that was Renzetti actually. That's really rather impressive. Cascioni. Oh, Biondini with the weirdest fucking pass ever made. But Cascioni is there. Ah, oh, Longo. Come on, man. Come on, Longo. Should have had two goals, but you only got one. Oh, there we go. Not quite there we go, but whatever. It's working. Hey, stop it. Go away. This man is sort of... He's dominating the game more than I am. But I'm just making better use of my chances. Oh, Longo! <laughs> Longo! Oh. Look at you. Two goals for a strike. For a strike. 
You look disappointed, Hank White. Free nil! What a... Oh, that was Conco's fault through and through, but what a lovely finish from Samuel Longo. Biondini, you need your long shot. <laughs> that would cap this. That would make this, like, the best start to this ever. <laughs> A 2 0 and a 3 0 win with players I was not expecting to be good. Oh, hang on. Oh, wow. Really? That That's your best shot. That's your that's you putting your best foot forward. Oh, oh Jesus, Santa Croce! Oh, no. Oh, I finally conceded. Santa Croce just showed his weakness there. But that's okay. I was kind of expecting it to happen at some point. Oh, but he still makes a good tackle there, though. His pace is helpful. That is something that I will give him. Oh, Longo. How do you keep getting the ball back, Longo? That's what I want to know. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, Biondini's got it. No, he hasn't, because Mertens has just owned him. Oh, Santo Croce is there again. 3-1. I'll take that. Longo, you're a fucking monster truck. I'm well pleased. He should have had a hat trick, really. Oh, Jesus Christ, De Rossi. Calm down. It's all right. Yeah, that Barzaglia own goal should have been longer. He should have had a hat trick. Cascioni had a pretty good try as well. I like the team. I will admit, I was pegged back for quite a while, though. And I still don't think, like, you know, the cam some of the cams just aren't getting involved. Although, Jesus Christ, what a... Thunderbolt that was. But yeah, all in all, good day! <laughs> Alright, so that was enjoyable. It's actually quite pleasant to edit something and hear me being enthusiastic instead of just grumbling and growling like a big angry bear. Um, but yeah, team is pretty good. Although, as you probably heard at the end there, there are a couple of problems. I mean, Santa Croce proved his weakness. Um, I am at some point going to try out the other centre-back, which is effectively just supposedly better Santa Croce, which is Antonini. A little bit slower, but he's the same height and he has better stats, so it's kind of the herd thing, but I only wanted to try Santa Croce out because he was that good the last couple of games. He just got downgraded so hard! Poor Santa Croce. <coughs> other than that, the uh, two cams was that Soriano and Peggy Arini, I think. The left and right cams. Even I can't remember them now. When I go back to edit this, I've no fucking idea who they are. Um, they're not great. The uh, left cam is supposed to have quite a lot of pace, and the right cam is reasonably balanced, apart from his shooting, but they just don't seem to do anything. Um, quite like the middle one, though, although even his name eludes me. Really, I only remember Longo because he's got a funny name, Renzetti, because he, while he causes me distress, he's actually pretty decent. Uh, Biondini, because he's you know, the ginger Christ. Cascione, because he's the brown-haired Christ. And, yeah, Santa Croce, because I've used it before. And Rubinho, the goalkeeper. I do like Rubinho. But yeah, I think if we get rid of the left and right cam to put in um, the more expensive ones, we do have three cams on the bench, but I think I will go with Ukon, and I think the other one is Paredes. They both have four-star skills. Um, the only other one I've got on the bench is a guy called Laxal, who, um, I don't know why I didn't put him in, he's only 200 coins, but, there, he was the last choice and he was going to be pretty expensive until I found him super cheap. Oh, I know why, it's because he was really rare as well, I had to wait for a couple of days before one of him showed up on the market, so, I don't know that's about it, but like I say, all in all, first impressions are good, and it's nice to have CDMs that actually do shit apart from Lofty. Like, Cascioni and Biondini are like two lofties in your team. That's the only way I can describe them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and let's hope we can keep this run going into next episode.